hello everyone. Uh, welcome to UBAI, an easy to use uh, text annotation tool for NLP application that is powered by uh, machine learning. Uh, in this video, I'm going to briefly go over the tool functionalities and show you how you can leverage them uh, to train your NLP model in uh, less than a few hours. So uh, before we begin, I would like to say that we are offering the tool right now with full functionalities uh, for free, and this is as part of our uh, beta test program. So if you have any NLP project in your mind that you'd like to test and try out, uh, please don't hesitate to use our tool and give us your feedback. That would be very appreciated. So uh, first of all, why do we need to annotate at all? Why do we need to annotate data? So if you want to automatically extract meaning from, let's say, medical documents or financial text, uh, if you want to extract like sentiments or entities or relationship between entities or even compare uh, the meaning between two documents, you will need to annotate data. So as of today, even the most sophisticated and supervised machine learning model, they cannot beat a well-trained supervised or semi-supervised model that is uh, trained by human annotators. So annotation is very, very important, human annotation. So uh, UPAI actually offers multiple features uh, that will make the annotation process easy and very uh, seamless. So I would like to go over the UBAI uh, workflow right now. So first we start with the pre-annotation part. Uh, here you have the option to input a CSV dictionary or a regular expression. So uh, we'll go more in details in a few minutes about uh, the specifics of um, the dictionary in uh, UBAI. So after pre-annotating your documents, uh, we start the manual annotation part. So here you have to manually highlight the words to annotate and assign entity to them. This is usually the most time-consuming part and is considered as the main part of the annotation process. So after annotating good amount of documents, we can then train a machine learning uh, model to finish the annotation for you. So here you work with the, with the model to uh, you work together to annotate uh, your documents. Uh, so at first the model will probably make some mistakes and the user will need to go back and correct the mistakes and manually annotate, uh, re-annotate uh, the entities again. So this will require usually few iteration to get uh, a good result. So once you're done with this uh, uh, semi-supervised annotation, I call it, uh, you can export your annotation uh, to train a machine learning model for your own application. So uh, let's start with the first step, which is uh, the pre-annotation part. UBAI allows user to input a CSV file dictionary that contains uh, a list of words with their uh, associated entities, as you can see here. And in addition to uh, normal uh, word input, uh, we also have, uh, you can write a regular expression as you can see here, and you can associate uh, a label to it. So this is useful in case you have a repeating pattern in your document, such as a phone number, or an email, or an address that you, you would like to automatically annotate. So um, in general, combining a dictionary like with normal uh, words uh, with a regular expression, you will be able to save uh, a lot of time and uh, unnecessary labor in this case. Instead of doing it manually, you should be able to do it automatically, to annotate automatically. So once you upload your uh, CSV file to UBAI, you get uh, a list of the words that you input, and then you uh, press save, and it will uh, the tool will automatically annotate uh, your documents. So it will search inside the documents for these words, the words that, that are inside the uh, inside the CSV file and then it will automatically annotate them. So in this case, we have, for example, the Java. Uh, as you can see, we have it in our dictionary and it was uh, found in one of the documents and it was automatically labeled, as well as uh, JavaScript uh, and computer science as a uh, diploma major. So uh, you could input thousands of words uh, at you, in your BEI uh, with no issues. So it's very fast and it will uh, automatically annotate for you um, all the words that you input in your uh, CSV file. So this will significantly minimize your uh, manual annotation uh, effort. So once we finish uh, the pre-annotation part, we are ready to start the manual annotation. This is usually very time consuming and very laborious. 
So at UBAI, we understand how your how valuable is your time. So we designed a tool that is really that requires really the minimum amount of uh, manual annotation. The UBI annotation platform was built to be very intuitive and easy to use. For instance, uh, with auto detection enabled here, uh, as soon as you label a word uh, in the in the text, the tool will search uh, within um, the document and it will automatically uh, label similar words. As you can see here, for example, I would like to uh, annotate uh, five plus year here, and the tool will automatically search within the document and search for similar uh, words, and it will automatically annotate them. So another case here with web services. So this actually is very useful um, as you don't, you don't have to uh, annotate the same thing over and over again. So this will make uh, the annotation process much, much easier, which will save uh, many, many clicks. So another thing is um, you don't have to annotate the full word. Uh, you could annotate only one letter, for example, and the tool will automatically highlight and label uh, the rest of the words. So, uh, in this case, it was able to find, to automatically annotate uh, the rest of the word and also uh, search for similar words within the document to uh, label them. So uh, this will actually make the annotation process much, much faster and much more efficient. Uh, after annotating a few hundreds of documents, uh, what you want to do next is to, is to check for any bias in your annotation. Because uh, the last thing that you want to do is to annotate thousands and thousands of documents to only find out that the annotation was uh, skewed toward one entity. And this usually will result in overfitting uh, during the model training. So for this specific reason, uh, we have created a, a metrics platform at UBI where you can visualize the distribution of entities across your documents to spot for any imbalance uh, in your annotation. So in the metric page, which is here, uh, you will find uh, a chart um, the first chart will be showing uh, the percentage of documents that are annotated versus the non-annotated one. And also, uh, if you go down, you will find uh, entity uh, distribution um, across your document. So in this example, the entity skills was uh, much, much more annotated than the rest of the entities. Usually, this is not very desirable. And in principle, I should go back to my documents and I should annotate more of the other entities, such as here, diploma major, diploma, or experience. So um, finally, you have the last uh, metric page. Uh, here, what you get is a word count distribution for each uh, entity type. And this is all across your document. So in general, I recommend to check the metrics page quite frequently. Uh, let's say a few, hundred, a few hundreds of uh, annotated documents or so to make sure that your annotation is actually uh, on track. Now, once you verify that your annotation is sound and uh, you have a good amount of annotated data, at this stage, you can export your annotation to train your own model for your own application. So here, uh, all you need to do at any point during the annotation is just to go here uh, and uh, press on the export annotation button. So because we know that each user will use different platform to train his or her own NLP model, we have uh, at UBI, we have included multiple export uh, formats. So such as, for example, here we have uh, the Amazon Comprehend format. So here we have, um, this comprises two different type of uh, annotation format, uh, namely uh, annotations and entity list. So if you want more information, you can read more about the specifics in the AOS uh, documentation. Uh, we also have a regular JSON format that you can use, uh, for example, to train a spacey model. Uh, and also we have a Stanford core uh, NLP format uh, and the generic uh, IOB format. So uh, this is it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I will talk about uh, how to train a machine learning uh, model to perform uh, the annotation for you. So you don't have to do it uh, yourself. So in that case, you'll just have to um, correct the mistakes, uh, hopefully not as, not as much. 
uh, of the um, that the model will make and then try to improve it uh, over time and the goal is at the end the model will be able to uh, annotate for you uh, all the documents that you have so uh, stay tuned and I'll see you next time <laughs>